Hello, my name is Fiona Stanton from Feast Paper Craft. Today I'm going to show you how you made um, this card. This card, what you do, you just flip it out like that. Oh, put there. And it will stand up like that. So it's a little kind of M shape. M shape? W shape cards. Quite nice. I should show you. Just stand up. So that's the card today. And to close it, just bend it back and then fold it. And you can put that into a standard envelope. So that's what we're making today. Let's get on. So I've got my base. This is just a standard A6 kind of base that's not been folded in half. So that means it is five and seven eighths by four and one eighth, four and a quarter, four and one eighth, that kind of size. I'll have um, a link to a PDF which will have all the um, measurements. So what we're going to do, we are going to measure at a quarter inch and score and we're going to measure at two inches and score and we're going to measure at four inches and score and then we're going to flip it 180 and we're going to do exactly the same the other side so a quarter of an inch in the PDF will be all the um, metric and imperial measurements. Okay, so that's all our scoring done. So we've got a quarter, two inches, four inches, a quarter, two inches, four inches. And then we're going to layer it all up. Now I've got all my layers cut. Uh, I've just got to make sure I get them in the right place and the right bits and pieces. I might need my master in a minute to see which way round I'm going to be doing everything. You see, I've got to make sure I know what I'm doing. Right, so first of all, a little bit of glue. I found it easier, normally I put glue on the bit I'm sticking down. But with this, I just found it a bit easier to do it on the bits I'm sticking on to. There we go, and on the other side. Get these bits done first. Anything, always make sure it's very hard to get things exactly the same height and size. So I always tend to cut, if I'm doing thin strips like this, cut them a bit longer. So I want to make sure that the bit, the extra bit, is going to be in the same position. So I always make sure it's at the top there. And then I can get it precisely. The glue there, that's always helped from gold foil. Blue and gold foil don't mix. Right, I'll leave that bit. Oh, I know. And this bit goes in the centre here. So that bit you can see I've left quite long. But obviously you want to make sure it is dry before you start snipping away. Right. Let me get all my mats out. Now there's two, there's four the same size and two that's slightly bigger. Oh, there we go. I thought I lost one then. So these bits will go here. Just laying out my mats and I'll start gluing down. And these ones are fine. Well, these ones are the same. So yeah, so in your box, um, you will have, just make sure you layer your uh, mats and layers on the right pieces. There are two that are slightly bigger in size and four that are more like that are the same size. Well, hopefully if I've cut it right, it should be the same size.
All right. So that's all the mats and layers. Let's bring this bit back. What I'm going to do is cut these bits off now. And that's one side. So the bigger pieces go on the inside slots here, right up next to the centre. Goes on the other side. Oh, let's put those on there. I'm not whiffling waffling now, am I? I've stopped having to concentrate, that's the problem. Good thing you can't see my face. I'm probably sticking my tongue out so I concentrate. Pause. Okay. No, I'm not speaking to Jeff, no. I, I don't know what you... I, I've only got the email that you sent me, so I'll print that off, do I? One, two, three, four. We're running out of glue as well. I'll get another one out in a minute. Right. So that's that. So I'm just going to leave that to dry for a minute while I stamp my greeting. And then I'll fold that all up. You do need to use a bone folder to make sure it is um, uh, well folded. I'm just going to stamp my greeting and do it at a slight angle. There we go. I nearly dropped the ink pad that time. If I don't stick my finger in it, I'm dropping it. fold this first of all right then so this one is a mountain fold and so is that one that's two 
the amount in folds. Then this one is a valley fold. And this one is a valley fold. And then the last one is a mountain fold as well. You want to try and get um, it as flat as possible, as well bended as possible, if that's the right word, because that will help when you are um, closing it. So, first of all, we're going to add some gold trim down. I'm going to add a couple of glue dots to glue this down on. No real rhyme or reason to this. That will do. And then we want some uh, dimensionals. And you want to avoid uh, the trim if possible. I was having great difficulty sticking. having the um so I, I was having great difficulty having the tag actually stay in place it might need more than that so you just fold that down and, and that will hold it down it won't hold it down indefinitely i was finding that was popping off because there is a lot of strain there but it will do once you've got it in an envelope it will hold down nicely so those are the two cards hope you liked it you can see that one's not perfect i think i put that on double dimensionals in the end um, but that one should hold because i've done it differently and again to close it just fold it backwards and that's that okay thank you very much